All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh. My name is Raven from the Sky. Let's do this. I'm summon set box of friends because that's an easy link summon. Boom. Great Angus, old school boy. I decided to keep box of friends as you see. Took out solidarity. It wasn't in the deck list anyway. And like I said last video, I, I, I uh, realized why. Because Box of Friends is a machine. <laughs> it's going to screw up Solidarity. But anyway. I'm going to struggle bus with these, but may turn around. Pajama green, yellow, and black. We may be able to turn around. I think it's a good deck recipe. Oh, you haven't won. How could you say that? Because with card games, I don't want to just say Yu-Gi-Oh! Card games in general. It's based off of, yes, your skill level, of course. But it's also luck and probability. More so probability. And if probability isn't in your favor, it is in your opponent's favor. No, regardless of deck build. You can be a freaking wizard at building decks. You know, you know, deck synergy and all that. But if probability is not in your favor and you break out, it's funny how you can still break out no matter how good you build the deck. And no matter if you have 60 cards, 50 cards, or 40 cards, unless you have the more, or increase your probability of get, drawing what you need, right? But, um, do I want to... <laughs> I got to use Delta Hurricane. I got all of them in my hand now, but I got a trio in my hand, but I want to, um, I want to kind of keep him just in case he, he starts going crazy. He gets, cr and, and I got a uh, Delta Hurricane. But anyway, like I said, probability. You could be a wizard. No matter how much you try to increase your power of drawing what you need, you can still break out. Or he could swipe your field and you're top decking. Good deck, but you're top decking. And he has five cards. Probability, five cards, six cards in his hand. Probability is now in his favor. You will lose if you cannot tip the odds back in your favor, depending on how far along the duel has been going on. You see what I mean? So you can't, I feel like now that I've been playing for like 20 years, you can't really say, oh, your deck sucks. It's based off of probability and skill level and mentality, all that combined into one. But to me, I feel like it's more so probability in my opinion. Because back in the day, I remember one dude, he didn't have his deck. He used mine. He was like, man, your deck sucks. <laughs> I, had, I got butterflies off of that. I couldn't even say anything because I, you know, I had just started getting good building the deck because at first, now when I first started, it did suck. I was just, it was thrown together and cheap. Like you find, oh, I finally drew like a shiny card. Oh, I had great Desard in my deck. I didn't, the, I didn't use Fusion Richie. Why would you put great Desard in these a 1900 tribute? Not even a level four 1900. I was like, why would you put great Desard in there? Because he's hollow. I didn't know because he's holographic. It's like a super rare card. It's like, why would you do <laughs> in 2003? We went to a tournament. Why would you do that? Dude summoned Genzo and equipped him with United. We stand in mage power and wiped me out. I still remember that last play. I didn't even make it to like playoffs or finals. I didn't even make it out the first like bracket. I got destroyed. I knew he was because I played him before, like at locals, but Man, I remember one of the dudes like, man, you want to make that deck of yours into something? And he couldn't really do much because it was garbage. I don't want to sound like I'm contradicting myself, but like I said, this is the beginning. I didn't know all that probability. I didn't know all that. I was just having fun. I love the card game, you know, but now I know about all that. And it's like, 
bro. Like if I was to sweep his field and he had like one card in his hand, the odds would be in my favor as I still have monsters on the field and cards in my hand. And when I draw, I'm going to have more than him. That's like tipping the odds in your favor, so to speak. And that's where, you know, the skill level comes into that. You, you know, you play your cards right. You wipe his field. Uh, that happens to be the one of his main strategies. That's why his hand is, is empty. Now he's top decking. That's a position you don't want to be in. You're hoping you draw mirror force, you know, and then you got to hope it doesn't get negated. Right. Or destroyed before you can play. You know what I'm saying? That's that's that's. That's Yu-Gi-Oh. Then they came back with these. Oh, God, dog. It's family speed. Shoot. That's a problem. What the heck happened to my. Oh, it's still there. Happened to my freaking I had Delta Hurricane in my hand. That happened to it. Neither player can special some monsters. Oh boy. Got dog it. We gotta get him off the field. I face some good Ojama decks, god darn it. They're not bad. Especially if you can get them going. You start swapping, switching attack <laughs> with defense. Throw off your opponent. Look at that, 1,200. If I swap that thing, he'd have 1,200 attack. And he'd be down to 1,000. And I'd be tempted just to get him, get him off the field first so that he can't special summon. So that means I wouldn't be able to special summon either, but we, if we can attack swap. We really don't have to. Oh. Oh, I'm, I meant to set it. I, oh, well, I don't know what I'm thinking about. Raven, what are you thinking about? Is that permanent or just for the turn? About to find out. Can't activate deep prison because of March of the Monarchs. Send one Ojama card from your hand to special summon one of. It's already switched. Is it going to switch back? Oh, shoot. I've already done that. Let me just see. Oh, does he increase when he when he battles? I'll take that twelve. But see, as long as he's on the field, he can't special summon the monarchs. Might try to cut his zones off, then start wailing on him.
That's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm thinking about keeping him there. Cause he can't special summon. Cause if I take him out, he's going to wait on us with the monarchs. That's why I say I might cut his zones off first. Cause, Cause in order for me to special summon, I have to take him off. I got to get rid of him. And we'll keep pity patting us with them that 1200. So if we caught between the rock and the hard place, I could take his zones out. Then get rid of him. Then he'll only have that one zone. He can't swarm the field. Oh, Jesus Christ. See, this is what I'm talking about. See what I was talking about earlier? Now I'm top decking. My field has been sweeped and I'm top decking. I'm at a disadvantage. If I can't tip probability with skill into my favor, I'm going to lose. 303,000 attack, 1200 adds up. Freaking two, two and a half more attack. Well, ain't no half of attack, but two more attacks. That's 2,400. You know, I'm finished. Palmization. I, should, I wish I would've got that early. Well, then again, I can't special summon, can I? Vandy's Fiend. See, look at this. Might want to put down a justy break, but I would need a normal card on my no jama on my field versus mirror force. Would I be playing it? Marching the monarchs wouldn't be able to stop mirror force because it's not targeting specifically them. How is he able to special summon? Up oh, it goes palmization. The heck, neither player can special summon monsters. Or did he? Oh wait! Or did he? Uh, he tributed, didn't he? Yeah, he tributed. That. Mm. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like, and subscribe to the channel. Series grow. I can't catch you guys in the next one. Peace.